Good afternoon, good evening. It is your captain speaking. Hi. Welcome to my channel. If you would like more, subscribe. I'm also missing a fingernail, so please excuse me for that. So today, I am very excited. I'm going to be reviewing the Golden Goose sneakers. And I'm also going to be giving tips on how to style them. This is the only designer product that I have. And disclaimer, I did not buy it. It was gifted to me. So it kind of contradicts the idea of, is it worth the money? Because I didn't have to spend the money, but I still have them. So I'm going to review them because I have my thoughts and opinions and whatnot. So Golden Goose at first, when I found out about the shoes i was genuinely confused genuinely because i saw that they were really like dirty dusty but they did that on purpose and i was so confused because normally when you buy new shoes you try to preserve them as much as possible to keep them very crisp clean and no creases all of that right but then these designer shoes that you pay 600 plus dollars for are made specifically to look dirty was so confusing to my brain and i just didn't know how I felt about it. So when I first saw them and I saw people wearing them, I was like, mm, I don't know how this makes me feel. But then my sister-in-law tricked me right before my birthday. She sent me a few screenshots of a few different types of golden goose sneakers. And she was like, hey, which one do you think my sister would like for her birthday? Cause her birthday was coming up around the same time as mine. Huh? And I was looking at them and I was like, ooh, like this one's kind of cute. It looks different than all the other ones. And I like said, her which ones I like and fast forward a few weeks later I'm at my birthday dinner opening my present from her and it's the golden goose sneakers that I said were my favorite so very sneaky but the sneakers that I got from golden goose are drum roll please Ta -da! these are them it's like a nice good look They're like this cute green color and this like tan thin sole. And on the toes, you can see they're a little bit worn out. And on the sides, they have already the crinkle, crocodile skin look. Like a trusty pair of sneakers is kind of the look that it came as. And I think not with all of Golden Goose's sneakers do they do that well, where they make it look like a vintage thrifted look. But these shoes for sure give that off. And I love that. It doesn't look like this designer flat shoe and I think that's my favorite part because I don't know brands very well and the ones that I do are very obvious and you see it all over the purse or the bag the name is written everywhere these shoes like I wouldn't have known this is designer unless I knew about Golden Goose because they're this like worn in vintage look these are like socks I'm not even kidding you like they're so stretchy they're so easy to put on easy to take off I never touch the laces and I love them I also wanted to review my husband pair of golden goose sneakers he also got these gifted these are the shoes and they're so different they look like this van style this like skater shoe style and that is totally his vibe like he's very skater boy and they came very worn in and like beat up on the sides um and even on like the rubber part there's like just dark smudges on the sides of the rubber they really wanted to make it look very worn in and so it's fun it's very very unique, very different. It was hard for me to get used to with these shoes specifically at first because there were so many spots to make it look worn in, but I just love it for the style that Simon goes for. It's just like this subtle, but really cool touch to his style. So what I would say is on these high tops, I noticed multiple times that Simon would complain about, you know, when he was first wearing them, breaking them in was really hard for him. They would hurt his feet and whatnot. So that's one thing I would say on high tops for Golden Goose is breaking them in is a lot harder and more painful than low cut shoes, which is kind of normal, I, I would say, for high tops. A lot of them are not super comfortable. High tops are not my personal favorite, but that's something I definitely noticed with him when he first started wearing them. But it's nice because they have a zipper on the side. So, you know, it's not like typical high tops where you have to squeeze your foot in and take out all the laces. You can just literally unzip it and put 
put it in. So that's definitely a plus, I would say, from like Vans high tops that he's used to. It's just so much more convenient with the zipper. But yeah, those are his. Overall, I would say Golden Goose is a great designer shoe if you want to go designer. You can definitely find similar shoes, I would say, without having to pay the pretty penny for it. But I mean, but at the same time, can you find something that looks exactly like this? Probably not. So at least once to try a pair, maybe even down the line, I don't think that they would ever really go out of style. I think that they will personally remain like a staple shoe. And if you've had them for a while, you wouldn't really ever know because they started out looking vintage anyway. So I feel like they could be a timeless shoe and just like a trusty sneaker you would always kind of go back to. So overall, I would say they're worth it because they are different and they are fun and they're comfortable and they're very cute. So yeah, I'm going to style these with a few outfits to just kind of show you what I like to wear them with and hopefully you get some inspiration. So this is going to be outfit number one with the sneakers. It's just more of a laid back look. You know, we've got the sneakers and we've got some very loose light jeans from Aritzia. And then I have this really soft t-shirt from Aritzia as well and a green vest. I don't know if you can see the color necessarily but it's a very dark green vest. It's from Brandy. And I just wanted to keep it very casual, very chill, an outfit that I don't have to worry about kind of fixing or touching up. It's just, hey, this is what it is. But yeah, this is one of my favorite outfits actually. So outfit number one. Okay, another one of my favorite outfits with my Golden Goose sneakers is this. This is literally, I don't know if you can tell the style that I'm going for. I'm very casual, very chill, just simple fits that I'm super comfortable in. So yeah, these overalls with my Golden Goose sneakers are probably one of my favorite combos. Yeah, just very casual, very sweet, very easy. And I don't know, these sneakers complement the overall so well very cute outfit and you feel comfy but you feel dressed up at the same time I don't know how to explain it and the color too I think the green with the denim always looks very trendy with that green and like the dark blue color chef's kiss so I love it uh, this top is from Brandy it's just like a washed out black color and then these overalls are from Aritzia and they're Levi's and then we got the sneaks so that's another outfit ah. so this next outfit is something that's a little more kind of girly kind of tennis girl maybe inspired also excuse the wrinkles on my skirt if you can see them I'm very sorry about that I don't have an explanation so I just did this white top from Aritzia. I did this light beige vest and then this white skirt that has been one of my favorites from Brandy. This vest I think is from Zara and then the sneakers of course and yeah I just feel like it's more of a preppy girl, girly girl look and I just love the details from the shoe, the beige sole with the tan kind of vest tying it together but could go for different occasions but keeping it still casual with the shoe shoe, girls night, picnic, just very fun. And what I love about the shoes is you can literally wear a dress, like a, a dressy dress with the shoes and it'll still look good because there's just something about the shoe that are like timeless. I don't know how to describe it, but I've done it before. I've worn a fancy dress with the shoes and it actually looked really fun. So that's what I love about it. You can really dress it down or dress it up and it's very cute. Okay, and then we have this last outfit that is a lot more posh. So we have the black top from Brandy. We have this cardigan from Maritzia and we have the black leather pants from Maritzia and then we have the golden goose shoes. So this is a lot more classy, but still fun and young. And I like it because the leather pants kind of spice it up. The cardigan we can just kind of play around with, give it a little bit of a pop of color. And then we have the golden goose shoes that just tone it down a little bit. Get seem more of like casual instead of very dressed up and then also the shirt makes it a little more casual I mean we could also have it without the cardigan to be very very simple but I just like the pop of color that this blue cardigan gives so so yeah 
that is a few outfit ideas you could wear with your golden goose sneakers and just kind of spice up the style, make it fun. And for that, I would say that golden goose sneakers are 100% worth it because of all the fun things you can do with them and they last you very long and they are timeless. They'll probably still be in style in years. And yeah, they're very cute. They're different. They kind of make you stand out a little bit, I would say. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!